Hi everyone, my name is Alice from Discovery AI and I love using Power BI to really bring environmental data to life. In this short video, I'm going to walk through one of my favorite mapping options for Power BI, the icon map, and just share a couple of real world examples of how we can use it to transform your mapping data in Power BI. So I've been using icon map for a couple of years now and previously, I was a real big Mapbox fan, but one thing which I really struggled with with Mapbox was the ability to combine points, lines, and polygons all in the same map. And I know it sounds pretty simple, but there aren't very many options out there for us using Power BI. And that's where Icon Map really shines. So Icon Map, it's a free custom visual for Power BI created by James Dales. And the best place to get Icon Map is actually from um, James's dedicated website, so iconmap.com. He regularly updates this visual, so keep checking in um, to have a look for the latest version. And you can download it directly from the website. Um, and he's also just released it to App Source. So the latest version will be available in Power BI pretty soon, I think. On his website, he also has a ton of really useful information, including lots of sample PBIX files and lots of in-depth instructions to walk through all the different options that Icon Map has to offer. And while you're here, I'd really encourage everyone, if you love Icon Map as much as I do, to reach out and buy James a coffee just to say thanks for all this awesome work he does for the community for free. So in this video, I want to share with you a couple of projects um, which we've been working on at Discovery AI, where Icon Map is one of the hero visuals in Power BI to really show you some of the capabilities of it and to spark your creativity of how you could create uh, similar maps uh, using your data for your Power BI reports. So the first example which I'll walk through um, is a study we worked on with Gippsland Water uh, to help develop their urban water strategy in Power BI, which is their 50 year plan to secure future water resources across their uh, water supply region. And the icon map uh, was a hero visual of this Power BI report which really allowed us uh, to show spatially where their water and sewerage network uh, was across uh, different districts. So here you can see we've got the icon map. If we zoom into one of their water supply systems, so let's select Erica Rawson, you can see the power of the icon map here. Here we can show um, interactive uh, their water distribution network, so their water pipes. Uh, we can also show points along their network. So here we've got an icon for a weir. Uh, we can also see a different icon uh, for a water supply basin, as well as the polygon, which outlines um, their water supply system uh, area as well. So if we reset this map, we can zoom out to see the whole district again. You can see another really cool feature of the icon map here, which is where we can have our own custom base maps here. Here you can see we've got a really simple base map uh, for our mapping visual, uh, where we've applied a mask uh, to the Gippsland water region. So just a very simple yet effective technique to make this region stand out. Um, but with the icon map, you can um, connect up to any of your custom base maps and uh, really customize your maps as well. So we've got a lot of different mapping options uh, in this report here. It wasn't just the water system. We've got the sewerage network here. And you can see we've got a lot of detailed spatial information. So it is, can be quite technical. Um, we can create really nice, rich, detailed maps using the icon map. So this was one example. A second example, which I want to quickly show you, um, is a project we worked on uh, with the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning to create a series of Power BI reports to visually communicate Victoria's water grid. So we've got a lot of different Power BI reports here um, where Icon Map is the hero visual of most of these pages. So here you can see that we're using Icon Map to create this time a really simple map, um, but we've got some uh, custom uh, polygons here. So this is something that a lot of mapping visuals in Power BI don't let you do. So icon map, you can fully customize uh, your polygons, points and lines. So here we've got some custom uh, boundaries which represent the Victorian Water Corporation boundaries. And using icon map, we can also apply conditional formatting options to these different 
uh, boundaries. Here you can see we're applying it um, to show, to highlight regions where we want to invest um, in water infrastructure in the next 10 years versus the next 20 years. And I'll just scroll down to this bottom one here. Um, and this has to be one of my favorite maps which I've created in uh, Icon Map. Uh, it's very simple, but I think it's really effective. And this is to plot uh, the different environmental assets across, um, across Victoria and having a look at what the different environmental values are in each of these locations. So this is where the Icon Map really shines, I think. You can create some really neat infographic style maps to effectively communicate that spatial information to really more non-technical audiences. So you can see here we're using icons as points to symbolize uh, different locations across this area. Um, and Icon Map, it supports custom report page tooltips. So here when we hover over these different locations, uh, you can see that it brings up all the different environmental assets that that area is uh, protecting. Just like any other visual in Power BI, it's all interactive. We can click on different features from different slices and zoom into those locations as well. So that's a couple of different uh, real world examples um, of how you can use Icon Map in your reports. Um, these are publicly available examples. So have a look at the links um, in the comments section below if you wanted to um, go and play around with these reports a little bit more. Um, but with so many mapping options out there in Power BI, Icon Map might not be um, the best choice for all of your different scenarios. So just keep that in mind. And in this uh, PBIX file here, um, I'm comparing six of the most common mapping visuals, which I regularly use in Power BI. So if your um, use case is really just plotting uh, locations on a map, so say you have longitude and latitude points, um, and maybe some value that you wanted uh, to plot as a size variable, maybe it's something like reservoir storage volume, then maybe the standard map is the way to go. This is a really simple mapping option. Um, all you need is really latitude and longitude, um, and there you have your map. If you have a known geographical region, something like a state, a country, or maybe a postcode, uh, then the field map in Power BI could be the way to go. Uh, in this mapping option, you don't need to predefine custom boundary locations. Um, it's really easy to use. It's just matched up on the location. If you have custom boundaries, so in our example, um, we were looking at the custom uh, boundaries uh, for different uh, water corporations across Victoria. Then we've got a couple more options. We could have a look at the shape map for a really simplified map, just showing those boundary locations can have a look at using the Azure map, which allows you to have those boundaries um, as your base map. So it's not interactive, but it's still there to provide context. Uh, you could use a Mapbox custom visual, uh, which allows you to have uh, custom uh, polygons saved as tile sets on Mapbox Studio. Um, or you could have Icon map as well. Um, so Icon map allows you to do this really neatly with uh, WKT files. So there's a lot of different options there. Um, so just keep that in mind before jumping into Icon Map. But one thing that I did realize when I first was trying to get started using Icon Map was that it was fairly complicated to learn. With all these different formatting options, with all of these different um, capabilities of the map, it was a little tricky to get my head around. There are a lot of different options there. So in the next few videos, I want to walk through really the fundamentals of how I got started with Icon Map um, and walk you through how to create some pretty simple yet really effective visuals. So we'll get started by creating a simple point map and adding some icons to it, having a look at options like changing the size and the rotation. Have a look at adding custom base maps to your map and also making those interactive so we can make those um, dynamically interactive with different DAX measures. Having a look at combining point signs and polygons by importing WKT files. Um, and also having fun with lots of the other formatting options, things like report page tooltips, uh, customizing your fill and border and all of those different options which you have in Icon Map. 
So I really hope everyone enjoyed um, this video. Got a little bit of inspiration from uh, different types of maps you can use uh, icon map to create and um, yeah keep an eye out for the next couple of videos hopefully you have a lot of fun uh, using icon map and exploring it as well